Oh, folks, welcome back to Might and Magic, World of Zine. Let's finish this bad boy off. Efforts to protect Terra from the interference of the ancients. If you remember, this is kind of uh, propaganda. Uh, preserved in his heroic struggle to return Terra to protect the home planet from harm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, cray cray. Skill for rulership. Wise counsel and firm guidance. That's a nice way to put it. Alright, so. Earth power field operational. I don't. I think I need to get over there. failed operational. Okay. Now we got lava. Glorious vigilance against the ancients. Subversion and theft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least he realizes he's a rogue AI. It is. Okay. So. Water time. Now, if you remember, we learned somewhere that Alamar's birthday is nine. So that's why we're setting all of these to nine. I mean, I suppose you could process of elimination it. Because you'll notice that gap opened up. And that's all this is. It's just... I'm not sure what happens if you try walking across. That. And we learned that... Where did we learn that? I know it says it in Olympus, because Olympus is a town of spoilers. Also, if you didn't... If you did that wrong, you wouldn't be able to go up the stairs. So, do you also remember, I think it was in Olympus, there was that long series of um, elements. That's what this is. So, let's see what happens when we do it wrong. That. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we can't get there. So in those, all right. So we want to go lava, dirt, water, cloud, dirt, dirt, lava, lava, water, cloud, dirt, lava, cloud, water, dirt. Dirt, water, water, dirt, 
lava, cloud, water. There. And there we go. To the... Like, over here, there's a couple alcoves that have... Hmm... I'm trying to remember what they have. Water, cloud, lava, dirt, cloud, water, lava, lava, dirt. And one, two, three, four, five, seven. I believe we use teleport. Oh. We can't teleport. Hmm. I'll have to look up how to get that. That might be I might make that a bonus just to show off what it is. But anyway, um so here we are. Coffee. If you don't have Korak, you just die. I hope you're ready for some great acting. I have to admit, I like the little tink of the pins landing and then Korak reforming. Korak. Yes, it is I. You have nowhere to run, Sheltam. Nor do you. I'm ready for you this time. This fight will be your last. I cannot fail. Admit your defeat, Korak. I do. Initiate self-destruct. Code zero, zero, one. What? No. No! It seems that's pretty easy. did it! I've saved your game in Castleview. The world of Zine still needs you. Load your game and come visit me in the Great Pyramid for further instructions. Oh! <clears throat> Crap. I think that means... So Castleview? Yep. Alright, so... Oh, what the? Oh, 
Well, that was rude. Attacking that poor boat. Ah, you warm my reptilian heart. You have saved the world from Sheltam and freed the other side from the wicked Lord Zine creation. Now, with the cube and the scepter in hand, and the enemies of the world out of the way, the destiny of Zine is in sight. All you have to do is turn on the four machines in the corners of the other side of the world, awaken the elemental sleepers on this side of the world, and open the way to the cloud world above Darkstone Tower. Prince Roland and Queen Kalindra are getting married there. Oh, that reminds me. Have you rescued Prince Roland from the bottom of Shelton's dungeon yet? If you haven't, that's one more little detail you need to take care of. Prince Roland needs to be free before he can get married to the Queen, doesn't he? Well, off you go. Good luck. Right. The opportunity to complete the destiny of Zine will not be around forever. Yes, it will. It is important for you to turn the machines on, awaken the sleepers, and open the way to the cloud world above Darkstone Tower. These tasks are all that I shall ever ask of you again. Think of the fame and the adulation of millions you will earn. I don't know about millions. I don't think there's a million people. So... We have to turn on the machines and awaken the sleepers. I believe you have to turn on the machines first. So we will do that. Awakening the sleepers is a bit more of a task, so we will save that for another episode. But the machines... we can do. So there you go. See that, that little island out there. Um, I'm trying to remember... One, two, three, four... I'm trying to remember how far it is we have to go. One, two, three, four. Let's try five. There we go. Go too far, you fall. Yep. Fire corner. Now, you could do this before. Before you, uh... Before you do anything. You could do this, um... You could do this even before you had... Before you had Dark Side. You know, back when this first came out and all that was out was Light Side of Zine. You could do that. Up. 
Actually, let's... We want to save, because if you goof... Well... If you goof... <laughs> you're gonna have a bad time. All right, so that's all the reflectors. So, quests. Uh, collect rubies. Find Caleb's magnifying glass and return it to him. Do we have Caleb's magnifying glass? Did we ever find that? Interesting. I don't remember anything about that, and we seem to have uh, lost audio. Let's see. Yeah, we've lost the music. So let's go to a town. Where to? Zoop -a -doop. All right, A, B, C, D, E. So we want, let's go to Actually, let's just go to here. Alright, so Caleb's... E3-1313. Okay. So we're going to go this way. D. E2. E3. Thirteen, thirteen. I see you didn't find my magnifying glass. You know, I did see a couple of gargoyles loitering around my tent the other day. Maybe they stole it. All right. So, we want to find gargoyles. Where are gargoyle? No, you are not a gargoyle. Now, I thought gargoyles were in these mountains. Rust again. Well, 
that's griffins. I know there's gargoyles. I know there's gargoyles on the other side of the world. Maybe they're on the this mountain. ogres. Yeah, it's just ogres. I don't know, Caleb. I found another mine. Barbarian camp. Well, I mean, it's not like I need XP. Obsidian uh, helm, that's nice. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure where these uh, dudes are. So Caleb's down here. I mean, usually the thing isn't too far away, but sometimes it is. Oh, there we go. Found some gargoyles. Aha! Oh. Oranga! Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate. I don't have clairvoyance running, so, you know, what are you gonna do? Okay, welcome to Mirabath Point, everyone. Yeah, it looks like I just had the wrong mountain range. this? Got up. Oh, this is Lakeside. Okay, go ahead. Mm. Alright, now we need F. Now we need to go this way. Hello, civilized Whoops. ones. I am the oldest tree in Zine. We trees on Darkside have roots. Roots that go deep in the ground. Roots that touch the roots of trees on the other side of the world. We talk and we listen. One day, while I was arguing the validity of Zeno's theory of infinity, you know, the one about why a rock thrown at a tree, ugh, 
We'll never get there because first it must go halfway to the tree. But before it can go halfway to the tree, it must go halfway to the halfway to the tree. And of course, must go halfway to the halfway to the halfway to the tree ad infinitum and she so knows therefore paradox. never leaves the thrower's hand. Because the rock is always going halfway to the halfway. <sighs> <sighs> The acceptance of this postulate leads one to see that not only could the rock not leave the thrower's hand, but that he should never have been born, nor should his mother, nor his grandmother, or even the universe itself. Therefore, the universe has no business existing at all, let alone getting on with time. Unfortunately, the rock does hit the tree, so that blows that theory all to... Um, uh, well, suffice it to say that the mind boggled. <clears throat> As I was saying before, I was talking with my fellows on the other side of the world, and they told me about your heroic struggle to save the trees over there. We trees of Darkseid commend your efforts to rid the world of the plague of bark-eating trolls upon the land. In recognition of your noble efforts, we have searched the ground for buried treasure, and can tell you with confidence to dig in area E4 and 013. For the gold your people value so highly. Well, wow, that was worth it. Okay, E4. Ah! E4, zero. All right, well, first things first. How wonderful. You have located my magnifying glass. Oh, yeah. So E4. Two hundred and fifty thousand gold. Nice. All right. So the next thing that we will have to do, we're not doing today, but the next thing that we will have to do is awaken the sleepers, okay. which ahead. is that's a bit of a chore. Somebody, ha there we go, you've got Obsidian Helm. All right. So, we're gonna... See anything you like. Yeah, we need Silver Longsword, Cutlass, Scimitar, Monster Man, we don't need any of that. Okay. Silver cloak, iron shield, static shield, iron gauntlets, platinum ring mail. Oh, we got two people with obsidian helms. All right. We'll have to uh, distribute those. Come back soon. Will do. And you've got an obsidian helm. Remove the pearl helm, equip the obsidian helm. Remove the platinum helm, equip the obsidian helm. I don't think you can use Oh, you can use a helmet. Oh, well. See anything you like. So, armor. Pearl helm. Platinum helm. Nothing special there, nothing special. Come back there. soon. So we got a few hundred grand. It'll be safe with Okay, me. we got two million in the bank. And age is fine. How did you get a key? 
All right, go in. So, to awaken the sleepers, that is the Sky Road. Ah, the mirror still does not respond. I honestly don't remember how to get those mirrors to respond. If they ever do. Oops. Oh, crap. Screw it. Guess you forgot levitation. All right, so this is where the sleepers are. So that'll be next week, and that'll be kind of rocky, but we'll deal with those. There's obviously four of them, so. Until next time, folks, have a good one.